name is Jayant. Welcome to Maths with Jayant. Today we are going to be discussing about fractions. So we will be discussing about what are fractions, like very basic introduction of them. So let us understand what fractions are. So let us understand what are fractions. So fractions is uh, nothing but it is a part of a whole. It is a part of a whole. Like suppose you have a pizza. I mean right now I am not able to make it fully circle. And there are four slices. Now so right now the total it is divided totally into four parts. Right? One, two, three, four. And right now all the four parts are with me. Nothing is missing. Right now all the four parts out of the four slices. So right now I have all four parts out of four. Now suppose if one slice I give to my mother. So now how many parts am I left with? Right now the total parts it was divided into was four, right? It's not that this part it was not divided into. It was divided totally into four parts. But we have only three parts out of four right now. So this is three parts out of four. Now suppose if I give one slice to my father. So, so how many slices am I left with now? It was totally divided into four parts, right? But now we have only two parts of it. Now suppose if one slice uh, I give to my neighbor. So now how many slices am I left with? I'm just left with one part out of four. The part that it was divided into. I'm left with one part out of four. And now finally suppose suppose this went missing. So now how many parts do I have? I have zero parts out of four. So like this we have written and expressed parts of a whole. But uh, we can always write words like this. We can also make diagrams to represent. Like Suppose if I make diagrams, so I have made this. So for four parts out of the four, I will shade all four to show that I have all the four parts out of four. Three parts out of four means I will shade three parts out of the four parts. Two parts out of the four means I will shade two parts out of four parts. One part means I will just shade one part and zero parts means I will shade no parts. So, this is one more way which we can represent. But, always when you be making diagrams, suppose if you want to represent 70 parts out of 200. So, will you make a, a big table with 200 blocks, uh, parts and pieces and then color 17 of that? No, 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 no. You will not do that at all. So, now you might be asking and wondering if there is a mathematical way of writing a fraction. Yes, there is. And now let us know what it, that is. Now always know that the fraction requires two numbers. So it requires two numbers and a line in the middle. Where are these two numbers? See, there are two numbers, right? One, two, one, two. Like this. So, the top number represents how many of the total parts something is divided into. Total parts. Like, let's take this. The total parts this is divided into is 4. And the top number represents how many parts are shown. How many parts we have. So, over here. Uh, this is just one part out of four. It's the number of parts shown or the number of parts we have or the number of parts we don't have. It all depends on the situation. Now, know that the top number is called the numerator. N-U-M-E.
E R A T O R. It's called the numerator. And the bottom number is called the denominator. D E N O M I N A T O R. This is the spelling of numerator and denominator. Now, let us show you one more important thing about fractions that you should know. So now, let us discuss it. So, suppose you have to divide this among two people. So, if I divide it from here, if I divide it from here, so can I say that this is 1 by 2 and this is 1 by 2? Can you? No, you cannot. Why? Okay, so now remember what I'm going to say. I mean, you might be thinking that it's divided into two parts and this is one part, this is one part. So this should be one by two, right? But no. Now remember that the parts that something is divided into, the parts that a whole is divided into, they have to be equal. Yes, they have to be equal. But these are not equal. So see, 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces in this part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces in this part. So these two are not equal. So you are not allowed to call this 1 half, 1 half. So then let's see what is 1 half over here. So how can you divide this? You can divide it into equal pieces. So let's see. Okay, so suppose this is the chocolate and I divide it from here. So then this can be 1 by 2, this can be 1 by 2. Because both the pieces, parts have equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So all this is equal. And you can say that this is 1 by 2, this part is 1 by 2. So remember that the parts have got to be equal. Now suppose that you have some balls over here. So let's see. How much is this for the, all the pieces? So this is two balls out of the eight balls. This is the numerator and this is the denominator in this case. Now how much is this? This is 3 balls out of 8. In this fraction, 3 is the numerator and 8 is the denominator. How much is this? This is 4 balls out of 8 or 4 by 8. In this fraction, 4 is the numerator, 8 is the denominator. What about all this? This is 6 balls out of 8. 6 is the numerator, 8 is the denominator. What about the whole thing? Over here, 8 is the numerator and 8 is the denominator. The fraction is 8 by 8. Okay. And now, let me just tell you something. The most common fractions. 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is called a half. 1 by 3 is called 1 third. It's called 1 third. And 1 by 4 is called 1 quarter. Okay, it is, you can also call it a quarter. Okay, now just uh, one more important point that I'd like to tell. That fractions are division. It's another way of writing division. So now, suppose if I take 8 by 8. Let me take 8 by 8. 8 by 8. If this is 8 divided by 8 and 8 divided by 8 is 1. So this means that 8 by 8 is the same as 1. Now if you do 4 by 8. So this is 4 divided by 8. And if you do this you will get a decimal number 0 0.5. So this is equal to this. So fractions are another way of showing division. And now suppose if there's a whole number that I have. Suppose 7. Suppose if there's a number that I have, it's not a fraction. It has no denominator, so the denominator you can assume it as 1. And that's not going to change anything because if you check 7 divided by 1, it's 7. And we just had 7. 
So if there is no denominator for any number, you can assume it as its denominator as 1. Hope you understood the very basics of fractions. In our next video, we will discuss what are equivalent fractions and how to simplify fractions. Thank you very much.